no, this isn't a video from three years ago. And yes, this is the reason why we haven't been doing anything in the shop, except for working on our cabinet cut list calculator. So this video is gonna be about those updates. It's gonna be happening right here. So I'll get out of the way and we'll slowly go over to my voice over, voice over, voice over, voice over, voice over, voice over. Voice over does sound different. Now all of our updates were based on user input and here I just rearranged the buttons a little bit, leaving room for more updates. But the biggest one we got was changing from inches to millimeters. Pretty simple. All you do is push the button and it's going to change the units that everything gets calculated in. Just give me an example here. I had a cabinet in inches and if we want to change it, we made a mistake. I want to go in millimeters. Push the button, it's going to ask you to convert and you're going to want to convert because you don't want to be mixing up units. And boom. All in millimeters. Down to a tenth of a millimeter. And you can change them back and forth from millimeters back to inches. You better convert them in as many times as you want to keep going. The second change or improvement was more of a complaint than a suggestion was adding of eighth inch backs. Previously there was no capability to have an eighth inch, now there is. The drop box limits the data input because it has an effect on other parts that are dependent upon its value. That's why there was no eighth inch. Now we put it in there and it's going to give us a three quarter nailer. If you were to change to a three quarter inch back, then you don't need a nailer. So then it gives us no nailer. Previously, if you had selected eighth inch, it didn't realize that value and it threw an error and wouldn't calculate the backs. Do not put a random number in here. It will not calculate the backs otherwise. So now you can see, we had a cabinet, and there it is, eighth inch back. Going to give you a sneak preview of some of the coming up improvements. One's going to be help sheet that'll show us the shortcuts to different forms. Control J will get you the job settings where you can change everything from there. And Control T will get you the cabinet setting. Like that right there. And then transition to the new sheet where there's a materials button. Control M brings up the material schedule. The new material schedule will allow you to edit. I, yeah, I don't like that value there. So let's go ahead and edit and make that an even six. Change it to six and we can update it. Oop, there you go, six. And if you don't like something, you just select it and delete it. We're gonna use this in the future for estimation and better to define our cut list that we're gonna make. We'll add materials here, but this is all in the future, so I thought I'd just give you a little tease and whet your appetite. All our updates and improvements are just based on user input, so if you have something you'd like to see, let us know. And there, we added back the one that we deleted. But before we even do that, we're going to do drawer boxes. Here on the drawer box sheet, you'll see there's nothing in here. So we'll go back to the main, open up our draw properties, and we're going to set the clearances for what we want on each drawer. I put the defaults in for Bloom drawer guides, which is what I use predominantly. And the drop down boxes gives you the choices of what clearances you want. But down below, I listed what the defaults are. We add the cabinet. Now we're going to go back to the drawer box sheet and you'll see this is just the opening size. Eventually over here, we will actually have the drawer size. 
This may be the version you have right now. And just remember, you can always close these out, save them, and you can save as many copies as you want, and you can save to each job file, so that way you don't ever lose your data. So with that, got a couple more projects I need to do in the shop and then we're moving the shop out of here, breaking everything down and taking it 1,263 miles that way. And that'll make a lot of videos. We're gonna build a new shop, we're gonna outfit it. Gonna be a lot of stuff to watch. But in the meantime, watch these videos right here and we'll see you real soon.